Here we are with Rent a Girlfriend Season 2 Episode 8, and yeah, last episode we had quite a bit of Mami, and yeah, she is scheming stuff, following Kazuya's parents, I think, uh, on Twitter, and I guess she wants to see if they mention Shizuru, uh, Shizuru or anything like that, or maybe she wants to message them at some point that she is a Rent a Girlfriend. So I guess we have to see what Mommy's plan is and what she wants to do with that. And yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. <clears throat> Thinking about it again. <laughs> and she's calling him. I guess just some daily small talk that you would normally do in a, when you're in a relationship. I mean, yeah, that's true, right? That's kind of true, right? You have to consider how that he's like around her. Basically, almost every day, in some way. I mean, we don't know yet, right? It's complicated. I mean, I mean, maybe she really isn't liking him, but maybe she is. I mean, we, mommy's complicated. <laughs> Two hours? Oh, those eyes, god damn it, dude. I didn't read it. I couldn't read it. Rent to date. I, that's something I, I don't like about Rent a Girlfriend. Is there's often so much text, I can't read all of it at once. Oh. Yay. Wow. Okay, I, I mean, it makes sense, right? If they are, like, higher rank, they take more money. Oh my god. Oh, such as outfits. Oh my god. What is his plan? What does he want to do? What is his request? But yeah, um, when it comes to mommy, right, he's like, yeah, she probably hates me. But I mean... We don't know, right? <clears throat> because Mami is complicated. I mean, if she wouldn't have any feelings for Kazuya, I would say that she wouldn't be so interested in him, right? In, like, getting information about him, if he has a girlfriend or not, if his girlfriend is just a rent-a-girlfriend rent or whatever. Um, except, I mean, maybe not, right? Maybe she just is, like, hell-bent on harassing him and making trying to make him miserable um but i think i think there is like some kind of interest in like 
relationship interest, right? That she maybe wants to get Kazuya back in some way, maybe. Maybe she's, she's just not sure of it yet, really, right? I don't know. Mami is complicated, which makes her a really interesting character, because you can't tell what is going on with her. I mean, for Ruka, you know, she is in love with Kazuya, but Kazuya not really in her. And Mizu, Mizuhara, you know that she is all has also some feelings for him, but... Right, it's complicated. I mean, Sumi, you don't know what's her deal. If she's interested in him or not. <laughs> But mommy's like the biggest mystery in this. By all of mankind. School uniform date? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Part of the job. Why not? School prostitution, goddamn, dude. God damn it. <laughs> uh, he didn't plan anything. Yes. I wouldn't say it looks weird. I would say it looks good. Very good. <laughs> it's dangerous. It's a weapon. <laughs> I mean, really, it looks really good on her, right? The whole color scheme with everything. He's not holding back. more <laughs> she's like what is he planning this weird dude <laughs> oh i mean that shouldn't be something new right i think they they were holding hands like earlier right like in season one I mean, he never asked for it, but at the first date at the end, they hold hands, right? In season one, episode one. Here we go. <laughs> Pulling her around. And again, people are super jealous. <laughs> I wish my youth was like that, says someone. Wow. <laughs> so that clearly says that it's like an older person, right? True. <laughs> yeah. We share <laughs> the plan.
So maybe he hopes that she wants to share with him. Oh, oh. his plan works. Now he bites and then she's like, yeah, you can have the rest. <laughs> It's an indirect kiss. <laughs> okay, he's not saying it. <laughs> I guess he wouldn't mind being just close to her the whole day. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, <clears throat> I mean, when you pay for something like this, right, then you want to plan it, right, so that you actually make use of it. I mean, I guess some people would do, get something like this and be just like, yeah, let's hang out, right? Just walk around, oh, sue me. Spacing out. <laughs> oh. Will she see them? I mean, she could guess that it's part of the job, right? <laughs> okay, I could see that. <laughs> she realized that she sees them? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Of photos, maybe? Yes, photo booth. <clears throat> yeah, I think these are like a really big thing in Japan, right? At least where I live, they're not really a big thing. Those in Japan are like really fancy with like tons of effects you can add and everything where you can edit them. I mean, what should she say? Nah, don't want to do that. <laughs> Friends, lovers, group. <clears throat> Is she doing it? Yes. <laughs> right? Just go with the flow. <laughs> His face. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> I guess she's fine with it. <laughs> Just do it, bro. Three, two, one. Time's up. Cramping up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, she likes it. And nothing ever happened. <laughs> She liked that because, as we know, she has some kind of feelings for her. What did it say? Oh, kiss. Oh, oh, here we go. Is she like, yeah, let's. <laughs> yeah, of course. Mwah. <laughs> I mean, that's also cute, right? I mean, I guess a kiss would have gone a bit far, right? Sumi? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, the pictures! No, the pictures! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no, the pictures! <laughs> exactly, that's how I would feel. Oh, does someone find the pictures? You lost hair. <laughs> Dude, imagine for some reason Ruka or Sumi or Mami would find the pictures. That would be funny. I mean, Sumi is, was around, right? So she maybe could. God damn it. I don't blame him. The world first, okay. Again, she with her, yeah, conversation skills, the knowledge. Your chance to get close. What? Uh, she makes space so that he can sit next to her. That's why she said it, probably, to try to get him close, right? To her side. <laughs> He's holding back. Oh, of course. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that was too much. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, can you blame her, right? I can see how that can be a reflex. I never wash his hand again. <laughs> uh, 
I guess not any, right? But a wide variety. Gentlemanly. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, shots fired. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Oh. I mean, that's why she's doing it. I mean, she said that she... This is also because it's like practice, right? Did she say breed? <laughs> or he? Too much text, I couldn't read it all. I think I just read breed. <laughs> His face again. A thousand yen. <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> oh, hello. Awesome. And he's bursting out again. <laughs> Everyone's looking. Other thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. If she can make a living, I guess, with other, with the act actress jobs. <clears throat> and hand-holding again. <laughs> He's too eager. Wow. And that is the next episode, I guess. Yep, I guess so. Okay. I misread. She didn't say breed. She said bread. She wanted melon bread. Oh my god. God damn it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this episode. But I think it was a pretty good episode, right? Lots of funny moments. And lots of nice shots where they have like this um, animations 
like this higher quality animation style for like close up shots and everything, um, which I really like. I I I feel like overall something that Rent a Girlfriend has going for it is that like quality wise, it's pretty good. I would say it has a very I I would say unique style. I would say, um, and it's like really good. I would say quality wise, and then you have these close ups, uh, close up shots, which are even better quality and even look even better. Where like the eyes look better, like the the eyes in this anime, at least for the girls, are like a big highlight. I would say the eyes really really stand out, and in those close up shots, the eyes look even better. And we had quite a few of those in this episode. And I guess in this episode, you could really tell on multiple occasions that, yes, Shizuru really has some feelings for Kazuya, right? Like, um, when they hugged in the photo booth, um, you could see her face. She was blushing like crazy when she hugged him. And so I guess moments like this really, like, tell you that she really has feelings for him, right? Um, but then the kiss, the kiss was obviously too much, right? <laughs> Even if she has some kind of feelings for him. Um, but I mean, we know for a long time that she has feelings, right? I mean, that's what the show is all about, right? And yeah, I mean, in in that regard, seeing them together again for a whole episode and talking and everything was pretty good. I liked it. And yeah, like, like I said in the episode, my only problem with the rent a girlfriend is that there's often so much text and text on, on top of text on top of text like uh, it's just so much text that i often can't read everything and then i have to rewatch the episode so that i can read everything and don't miss anything and all that stuff it's just crazy how much text there is because every time there is like stuff written on the screen um like enough thoughts like um, when Kazuya was holding up his fist, uh, there was something written on the screen for Shizuru, and it was like her inner thought, which was, what's up with this fist? And that also gets like written on the subtitles, obviously, right? And it's just that there's so much stuff, like stuff that she says, maybe, stuff that Kazuya says, and then the, the inner monologue she has written on the screen of Shizuru, so there are like three different things that are all written on the screen, and it's like goes by in a, in like a, in like one or two seconds, right? And I'm not the fastest reader, so it's a bit problematic for me when there's so much text all at once and it just goes by so quickly and changes the whole time that you don't know what do I read first, what goes away the the next, right? Um, yeah, it's just a bit overwhelming with uh, Rent a Girlfriend always, but yeah. Like I said, oh, good episode, I would say. Liked it. And, yeah, I also read what Mami said. Mami said, like, um, uh, tweeted, I think, to the grandma or whatever, or some a family member of Kazuya's and wrote, yeah, I'm following you. Uh, she likes alcohol and she can't wait to see stuff, tweets about her grandson. Uh, and that it would be fun. So, yeah. Stalking. <laughs> Obviously. Um, so yeah. Can't wait to see what Mami's plan here is with the grandparents. With the, not grandparents, but, but with the grandma or like the, the parents of Kazuya's. I don't know who it is exactly. Um, interest, interested to see what it is. If it's like, just like stalking and getting information or if she at some point wants to go to them and tell them like hey your f boy your son has a rented girlfriend you know that um will be interesting to see right but yeah good episode again i repeat myself and yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think about this episode and i would say thanks for watching until next time Bye bye